Dear Rinder, page 25, exercise 1.2, question 1. A balanced coin is tossed three times. Find the probability of following events. First of all, we have done this practice in the last period how to get the sample space for such things. So a balanced coin is tossed three times means this is the first coin, this is the second coin, and this is the third coin. So sample space will be H H H H H T H T H and H T D. Now I told you first letter replace with T and rest write the same. So T H H T H T T D H T D T means N is equal to 8. Any doubts on this? No. Did you all write up the layout? Otherwise also I will do one coin, two sides, raised to the power three coins. So two raised to three. N will be equal to 8. Did you complete it everyone? No. Now see the first question what is asked. Find the probability of getting all the 3 8's. What we have to do in each question is one shy at What we have to do in all the questions is first we have to define the events and find that events. Okay as we discussed dice, coins, children and numbers first we make the sample space and events. So for the first question write down let event A be the event of getting all three heads. What the question is asked that you define as an event. So let event A be the event of getting all three heads. Did you understand this? Now can I say this is the only outcome in its favor? Yes. Where do you find all the three heads? HHH, this is the only one outcome in its favor. So A will be equal to HHH. Understood that? M of A is one, only one outcome in its favor. And the formula of P of A is M of A upon N. So 1 upon 8 is the answer. M of A 1 upon N that is 8. Any confusions in this? Completed? All are clear with this? This way we will solve all the questions. Every question which is asked, you will first define that as an event and then find the event and the outcomes in its favor. Understood this? Shall I go with this again? Not getting a single head. Right on. Let event B. Let event B be the event of not getting a single head. Now raise your hand. Not getting a single head means which outcomes in its favor? Raise your hand. Not your words. Disha? He is not getting a single head means all the three are tails. So B is T T T. Again only one outcome in its favor. M B is equal to 1. So P B equals to M B upon N. That is again 1 by 8. Is everyone able to understand this? Now third question. Raise your hand is still doing up till here. Have you Now third question. Getting at least one head. Madam, let event C be the event of getting at least one head. Now can I say at least one means more than equal to one? Yes. At least one head means either one heads or two heads or three. three heads. So raise your hand what outcomes in its favor? Getting at least one head. Ask them. 
except TTD all have one heads did they concentrate at least TTD everywhere do you find at least one head or not so that all those seven outcomes H H H H H T H T H H T T T H H T H T T T H seven outcomes in its favor so P C equals to M C upon M seven by eight <coughs> any doubts for this? All of you are up till here. Raise your hand who is still doing it. All have completed. Now see next question. Getting more than one head. Let us let event D be the event of getting more than one head. Now, Kushi, what will D include? H H H H H H T H T H and T H H. Yes, more than one H means two H or three H. So H H H H H T H T H T H H. This single heads and tails will not be included. Okay. So more than one heads means B equals to H H H H H T H T H and T H H. Means MD equals to 4. PD equals to MD upon N. 4 by 8, that is 1 by 2. Let us simplify all the answers, okay? So 4 by 8, that is 1 by 2. Anyone have any doubt on this? Next. Getting at the most one head. And on that event E. Anyone still doing the fourth raise your hand? So let event E be the event of getting at the most one head. At the most means less than or equal to one. Maximum one. At the most. Maximum one means less than or equal to one. So Ria. What outcomes will be included in E? HTD. TH. You only two outcomes. TTH. TTD also. Yes. At the most, one head means either one heads or zero heads. Less than equal to one means one heads or even zero heads. All the three tails will be included. So, HTT. Who is continuously talking in between? Pin drop silence I want when I am going with the question. HTT, THT, TTH, and even TTT. Did you understand this? At the most, one head means one heads or zero heads. Four. ME is equal to four. So PE will be ME upon N. 4 by 8, again 1 by 2. Anyone have any doubt with this? Then sixth question. Getting less than 2 heads. And on let event F be the event of getting less than two heads. Are you able to understand it? Now less than two heads. Jitin? Sir, HDD, THD, TDHD. Same answer. Less than two means what? Less than equal to one. Less than two is same as less than equal to one. Less than two heads means zero heads or one head. So it is same as this event D. And on H T T P H T P T H 
and TDD. So MF equals to 4, PF equals to MF upon N, 4 by 8, 1 by 2. Did you all understand this? Any doubts with it? Then seventh question. Getting heads and tails alternate. Do you all are still writing this? Raise your hand. And anyone who is not clear with any question up till six, raise your hand. Have you read it? Now let event G be the event of getting Heads and tails alternately. Then event G be the event of getting heads and tails alternately. <clears throat> There's only two outcomes. Alternately means heads, tails, heads, and tails, heads, tails. So only two outcomes are included. H T H T H T M of G equals to two. PG equals to MG upon N. 2 by 8, that is 1 by 4. Are you able to understand this? And the last one. This is still doing with 7. So, getting more number of heads and tails, right? Now, let event H be the event of getting more heads than tails. Getting more heads than tails, there you go. Correct. These four. Okay, here we have more heads and less tails. So, HHH, HHT, H T H and T H H. Four outcomes. M H equals to four. T H equals to M H upon L. Four by eight. That is one by. So all of you are clear with this question. How to do it? Now see in exercise one point one. Probabilities are not asked. You have to make only. Sample space and event. So that portion I'm going to give you is homework. Because in this, when we are finding the probability, it's already covered how to find the sample space and events. Okay. Now next question we'll take up. Yes, be attentive. Question number two. Complete silence now. Two balanced dice are thrown simultaneously. Find the probability of following events. First of all, two dice means 36 outcomes. Do you remember? Yes. Write those 36, 36 outcomes. There is no other alternative. Let it pass everyone. What happened? 
Yes, did you all write the 33 outcomes? So, write down MB equals to 33 and PB equals to MB upon N 33 upon 36 both are divisible by 3, 3 into 11, 3 into 11 by 12. Anyone have any doubt in this? All are clear up till here? Yes. Now look at question 3. Anyone still doing with 2? Raise your hand. Sum of numbers on the dice is a multiple of 3. Let event C be the event that sum of numbers on the dice is multiple of 3. Okay, sum of numbers on the dice is multiple of 3. Raise your hand. Which outcomes will be included? Sum is a multiple of 3. Anyone else? Image. So there would be 12 outcomes. Which 12? 12? 1, 2, 1, 5, 2, 1, 2, 4, 3, 3, 3, 6, 4, 2, 4, 5, 5, 1, 5, 4, 6, 3, 6, 6. Yes, be attentive everyone. Sum must be a multiple of 3. What is 1 plus 2? 3. Then 1 plus 5? 6. Are they multiple of 3 or not? Yes. Same way 2 plus 1, 3. 2 plus 4, 6. 3 plus 3, 6. 3 plus 6, 9. 4 into 6, 4 and 5, 9. 5 and 1, 6. 5 and 4, 9. 6 and 3, 9. 6 and 6, 12. They all are multiple of 3. Understood this? So what will be included in C right now? outcomes now PC equals to MC upon N 12 upon 36 1 by 3 any confusion in this raise your hand is not clear up till here Okay now, product of the numbers on the dice is 12. And on let event D, let event D be the event that product of the numbers on the dice is 12. Raise your hand, what outcomes will D include now? <laughs> Product is 12. Kathy? Can it be an ender? In the row of 1, there is no multiple of 12. 2 into 6, 12. 3 into 4, 12. 4 into 3, 12. In the row of 5, we don't have multiple of 12. Uh, we don't have the product 12. 6 into 2, 12. So which all outcomes will be included? 2, 6, 3, 4, 4, 3, and 6, 2. 4 outcomes. So MD is 4 and PD is MD upon M. 4 by 36, 1 by 9. Correct everyone? Anyone who did not understand up here? Next. Question 3. 
So all of you are able to understand this? Dice, points, children and numbers will always make the sample space and events to get the probability. Look at question 3 now. <coughs> Raise your hand who is still going with question 2. Okay. One family is randomly selected from the families having underlined two children. Children are like coins. Boys are like heads. Girls are like heads. I don't know, two coins means first coin. Sorry, two children means first child and second child. So, sample space will be BB, BG. Now, change the first letter to G. So, GB, GG. Raise your hand who did not understand this. BB, BG, now change the first letter to G. So, GB, GG. Like we do in coins, same way. Okay? Any confusion up there here? Who is still writing up there here? Now see the first question is one child is a girl and one child is a boy. And on that event A B the event that one child is a girl and one child is a boy. How good? Yes. BG and GB One boy and one girl So BG and GB Two outcomes only So M of A is 2 P of A M of A upon N 2 by 4, 1 by 2 Any confusion with this? All are clear with it? Now second question this is it is still solving the first. See second, <clears throat> at least one child is a girl among the two children of selected families. So it will let event B be the event that at least one child is a girl. Basha? At least one child is a girl. Which one? BB, there is a girl. BG, BB, and GG. So? At least one child is a girl. Silence everyone means one girl or two girls. So BG, GB and GG. Yes, keep silence. BG, GB and GG. Three outcomes in its favor. M of B is 3. So P of B will be equal to M of B upon N. 3 by 4. Did you all understand this? Anyone having any doubt in it? <coughs> Look at fourth question. Who all are still solving the third? Now, one number is selected random at random from the first hundred natural numbers. Be attentive, I told you. Numbers also will make the sample space. So don't get carried away with the word selected. Numbers question comes means you have to make the sample space. One number is selected from 100. So 1 to 100 is the sample space. 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 100. Means N is 100. 
Any confusion in this? All agree with this? Now, find the probability that this number is divisible by 7. Let event A be the event that the number is divisible by 7. So 7 into 1, 7, 7 into 2, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, 77, 84, 91, 98. Are all these numbers divisible by 7? Or? So complete table of 7. After 98 we cannot proceed because the last number is 100. 14 numbers. M of A is equal to 14. So T of A will be M of A upon N. 14 by 100, 7 by 50. Both are divisible by 2. So 14 divided by 2, 700 divided by 2, 50. What is everyone? And the last question, 5 for today. <coughs> as we assume have equal chances of other equal probability. Find the probability that the number selected is a multiple of 3. And on let event A be the event that the number is multiple of 3. One check. Up till last number, 120 itself is a multiple of 3. So that on 3, 6, 9, 12, dot 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 up till 120. What would be the total numbers? No need to count it. What is 120 divided by 3? 120 would be the 40th number. So no. <clears throat> is everyone clear with this? Total numbers will be 40. So PA is equal to MA upon N 40 upon 120, 1 by 3. Now raise your hand, the second one, how will we find? Not a multiple of 3. Raise your hand, raise your hand. Correct? 1 minus P of A. Correct. Not a multiple of 3 means complement. Yes. So no need to define a new event. Directly we write P A naught and we studied in the note. The probability of A naught is 1 minus P. So write on the probability that the number is not a multiple of 3. is PA naught, means PA complement, <coughs> which is 1 minus PA, 1 minus 1 by 3, 
3 into 1, 3 minus 1 by 3, 2 by 3. Did you understand this everyone? Now third, right now let's make B. Third question is multiple of 4. So around let event B be the event of getting a multiple of 4. So B will be equal to 4, 8, 12, 16 again up till 120. Because 120 divided by 4, 30. So what will be M of B? 30. 120 will be the 30th number. So E of B will be M B upon M 30 upon 121 by 4. All of you this? Everyone able to understand? Same way now next question, not a multiple of 4 means P B naught. Directly we will find that. Go down. Here's your end who is still writing up to the third one. Everywhere? Yeah. Now the probability that, directly fourth answer, the probability that the number is not a multiple of four equals to pb naught that is 1 minus pb 1 minus 1 by 4 4 minus 1 by 4 3 by 4 got it everyone then fifth question raise your hand multiple of both 3 and 4 Queena? No? Raise your hand. Multiple of both 3 and 4. Anyone else? Shubhadra? No? A intersection B. I told you and word means intersection. Union will be using the word or. If you see A and B, you'll find 12 will be common and all multiples of 12. Multiple of 3 and 4 both. What is 3 into 4? So all the multiples of 12 will be the multiples of 3 as well as 4. So common numbers in A and B. No need to define a new event because it's A intersection B and A and B are already defined. So on A intersection B equals to 12, 24, 36 up to 120 means m of a intersection b is 10, 120 divided by 12, that is 10. And p of a intersection b, m of a intersection b upon n, 10 by 121 by 12. Did you all understand this? Yes. Put down the homework. <laughs> Exercise 1.1. 1. 1. Question 2, 6, 7, 8. Exercise 1.1. 1. 1. Question 2, 6, 7, 8. And illustrations.